Is there any reason to return to moderated in-person testing? Yeah, I, I think so. I think, um, you know, I, I have my plan, depending on obviously how everything pans out, but my plan would, would definitely not be to completely stop doing that. I think there's um, so much more you can get. As I say, it, it's that bit easier to sort of build the rapport, but also from a, from a physical point of view, particularly if you're trying to um, test across different devices, for example, that's a bit of a challenge at the moment because, you know, you can get a user to join on the phone, you can get them to join on a laptop, but it's not that easy to kind of get them switching between the two if you want to test across both platforms. Also on the, on the mobile side of things, even though Zoom is relatively user-friendly, it still can be quite challenging for people to share their screens on their phones and with slightly different phone makes and models. Again, from our point of view as well, we're sort of saying, well, are you on an iPhone? Or it should say this and it should say that on an Android. So that's, that's a little bit more complicated. So the technology, it's not the same as being able to lean over to someone and say, oh, yeah, just, you know, do that, do that thing there or whatever, or even just set it up for them and, and let, them, let them go with it. So I think there's definitely definitely the sort of device side of things from a, from a more practical point of view. And, um, yeah, it's like having, having that chat in person, particularly if it's sort of more user interviews, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it is nice to, and you can't replace that sort of human contact of being in the same room. Um, so, yeah, the, the plan moving forward, as, as far as I'm concerned, would be to, to still use labs, uh, but, you know, for the, for the right projects and use remote for, for other projects 